Hi guys, very welcome to my number 11 of my Houdini rigging tutorial series. I apologize that you didn't get these tutorials last Monday. As I already mentioned on my YouTube channel, we were doing um, animated short film for world largest competition um, with a very tight deadline, sleepless nights. Uh, sleepless nights. Um, all destruction were done in Houdini. Uh, for those who would like to watch this film, I will uh, put the link in the description below. Please give me a feedback and if you like it, please vote for us because we need your support. Uh, okay, enjoy it and let's back to the tutorial. Today we will look at the paint capture layer tool and also mirror capture weight tool. Let's begin with paint capture layer tool. Before we start, I will show you my Waken tablet settings because um, it's very useful if you're painting weights. Now I'll go to And you see here my um, pen settings are um, is the left mouse click, middle mouse click is the button below, and the right mouse click is um, button on top. And I also deactivate use window link. I already prepared a scene for uh, painting. You see here I have two cylinders. I put one or I move one in the Z direction in 10 units and the other one is minus 10 units and we have a merge here and also I create one bond chain for left um, side. First thing to do is to um, copy or mirror this bond chain to the right side we just select these three joints or bones go to modify and press your mural and mouse over the viewport and press enter now you see we have two uh, bone chains and now we have to capture the geometry there is two ways to do it one way I already uh, showed you a last tutorial, but we can also use um, the capture geometry tool on a shell. I will show you now how to do it. Just activate the uh, tool and follow the, the instruction um, from Houdini. Select geometry uh, object to capture. We select geometry mouse over viewport, press enter, select the root object um, of the capture and hierarchy. Um, first, I will uh, create a null here to and parent this two bond chain to this um, uh, null object. Now we do it again. Select geometry, press enter, select the root and press enter. And you see now if you look inside our geometry container, the couple nodes um, is already there. Uh, this setup is a bit different um, from the setup what we did before. This is a new way how Houdini uh, captured geometry, but you can also um, do it um, the old school way. Um, and now I'll show you how to do it here. We just grab our uh, a capture, capture bone, and specify 
the extra regions I just take it from here just copy and paste it here and now we have to say use capture pose and we need also the deform bond deform and now if we rotate our bone our geometry is already captured now we can disable these guys or we can delete them okay now let's look at the paid capture later there's also two ways to do it one way is from a shelf just can activate the tool select geometry to paint and press to complete we go up select geometry and press enter here i think both selected we selected oops we selected again now first i activate the tool select the geometry and press enter and you see now we are inside of uh, this tool and uh, you also see um, that Houdini uh, create new SOP capture a layer paint uh, SOP and um, you can also just delete it and create it yourself and just connect it here and you see we have a, a same result okay let's look at the tool if you uh, press right mouse button you will see we have two options here for left mouse button we um, by default is a paint operation is active and uh, for the middle mouse button is the reduce operation you can set it um, uh, yourself or customize this for your um, um, settings and um, if you look at the button of the of the window Houdini gives you the instruction how to use this tool left mouse to paint middle mouse to reduce and control middle mouse to uh, select the capture regions okay first i like to um, change my um, type of object display in a viewport to hidden light invisible and now we can um, click with middle mouse button to um, select the um, uh, capture region to paint and now we have um, if we press shift we can adjust our brush size and if you look at the capture um, capture layer paint tool we have operation brush in the operation you can set the maximum uh, paint value and minimum reduce value our widths are normalized and therefore the maximum is one and minimum is zero in the brush setting you can adjust the radius without uh, using the shortcut um, and a very important attribute here or parameter here is the opacity if you set opacity to one every stroke you paint will apply maximum value or reduce maximum value if you put the opacity to a lower value you su successively add or reduce value to specified capture regions let's try to do it uh, first what i like to do is to uh, change the viewport representation of the influence of this um, capture region 
uh, by default you see if you go to the uh, operation this visualize type uh, set to all capture regions and visualize mode to infrared if we change to select capture regions you see we have an infrared but I like to uh, go to grayscale now we know okay why does um, value of 1 and black is the value of 0. And next thing to do is to put um, a little animation on a bone to see um, the deformation in the action. We go up, select this joint, activate rotate tool and you see I like to uh, rotate um, in, in the X axis. Um, we just uh, press with ALT and left mouse button to set the key and now we go to maybe to uh, frame 24 and I rotate maybe to minus 90 degree and press with ALT again. Now if you see if we scrub in a timeline we see this um, deformation. And as you see here, we have uh, some ugly interpenetration. And therefore, I like to show how to correct these regions uh, using the paint uh, weight tool. We have to activate the tool first. If you press with the control and middle mouse button you can uh, choose the um, capture region of um, the selected bones or, or, or selected um, bone and um, as you see here I like to reduce this row of um, vertices to a 0 0.5 it's very simple to do um, as we already know, we can set our minimum reduce value to 0 0.5 and just uh, paint with middle mouse button on this row. And um, if you also s uh, set your opacity to 1, it will update it immediately to uh, 0 0.5. Let's do it. I set it, my opacity to 1 and my um, operation minimum reduce value to 0 0.5 and now we just paint with middle mouse button to reduce these guys to a 0 0.5. It's also good uh, to paint on a vertices, not on the faces or on um, on the edges. And you see now we have reduce this row of vertices to 0 0.5 and you see now we have a better deformation now we can uh, reduce also this guys but this is up to you I um, show you how to do it and let's uh, try it yourself also you can uh, use our um, our um, capture or the edit capture region tool and now you can just uh, sorry edit uh, sorry edit capture weights tool and now you can just select for example this three or I don't know maybe four vertices and reduce their influence 
you see we have 100 percent to this to this joint we can now just sorry uh, something ah um, my selection is gone you see we can now try to reduce it and you see you can now just reduce the influence of this um, capture region to these vertices to correct this region okay and uh, now let's move on to mirror weights tool and I will show you how it works actually before we move on I like to show you something uh, we use uh, the edit uh, capture weights tool here and if you look inside of the geometry container uh, the capture overrides soap um, was created here if you look inside of this um, soap you will uh, realize that we have a selection here on this selection are the exact the same points that we selected in uh, viewport as you see here, if I activate my uh, point numbers here and those are the points we selected and you see here we have uh, now a solve and now we can adjust procedurally the weighting of those points you can use this capture overrides um, how many times you you like for uh, different regions and work just non-destructive way just like the layers and photoshop for example you can also use the capture layer paint um, soaps um, and just um, uh, create another one and paint on another uh, region um, and work down non-destructive way for get um, the best result okay now let's move on to the mirror capture weight tool actually it's very simple to do we have to activate mirror capture weights and just follow instruction from Houdini select the destination points in our case those are the destination points press enter select the source points in our case those are the source points mouse over the viewport press enter and now we have to select the destination uh, bones you can select them here um, but Houdini already detected that they are um, because we are using correct naming convention um, Houdini already detected two bones here on our right side you can either select them here press enter or we just go here and press enter and now you see new capture mural soap was created with the origin almost uh, here on uh, the zero of the grid and we have also the, the point group that we selected before and also a source and destination bonds okay um, now we have the basic knowledge how to capture in Houdini and in the next uh, tutorial next Monday we will uh, capture our bunny okay thank you very much for watching I hope you like this tutorial if you like this tutorial please leave a comment don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget uh, to vote for our short film if you like it and I will see you next Monday bye